All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a little video on how to put numbers into scientific notation on your calculators. First of all, this is a Texas Instrument calculator, and um, all of the calculators, it's a little bit differently. So I'm going to zoom in and kind of zoom out, so bear with me here. In this calculator, it has what we call an enter exponent button and it is that EE button. When I want to use that button, I have to hit that sub key or the blue key. So for instance, I have a number here and it's 2.8 times 10 to the 42. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom back out, but now you know where I'm, what I'm looking at. Let me just go out just a little there. So now I'm going to enter that number into the calculator. So I'm going to hit 2.8. I hit the second function and that EE. Now, for this calculator, that E is the same as saying times 10 to the. All I now need to enter is my exponent, which is 42. And I'm done. I can now add plus 3.96. Now, this second number has a negative exponent. So for this calculator, I'm going to hit second function EE. I do have a negative key down here in the corner. So look down here with my finger, down here in the corner, and it'll be negative 25. And at this point, I can just hit equals. And that gives me an answer. And it happens to give me my answer is 2.8 times 10 to the 42 which is the correct answer. So my answer to this problem is 2.8 times 10 to the 42. Now I'm going to switch calculators here because like I told you, calculators are different. So here we have a, a well-used Casio. And this particular Casio button doesn't have an enter exponent. Let me push this up just a bit. And let me go ahead and scroll in. And on this Casio, their exponent button is times 10 to the x. Um, also, up here is my negative key. So the number or the, the key that you use to make your numbers negative or positive um, are going to be, you know, again, that's in a different place as well. So let's see if I can do this. Go ahead and scroll back out so you can see. I'm going to do the same calculation, and we should get the same answer. So I'm going to take my 2.8. This time I'm going to hit my times 10 to the x. Again, it shows me times 10 to the. And I will hit 42. And this one you have to. Plus um, 3.96 times 10 to the. Uh, this time I'll use my negative key and 25. And let's hit equals. And as you can see, our answer is, or maybe you can't see, but the answer is 2.8 times 10 to the 42, which is the same answer that we got. All right, well, I can't show, there are many other places that you find these buttons. They can be seen as um, exponent, EXP. They can be times 10 to the N. Uh, those are the buttons that you're looking for on your calculators.